Hi guys, hope you're all doing well inside at the moment and that you're managing things as they are in this upside down world we have, which actually reminded me of our trip down under to Australia at the beginning of the year in February, where I don't know if you know, but in the Southern Hemisphere, the water goes down the plug hole in the opposite direction to us, and the sun rises on the opposite side of the horizon to us. And also in Oz, they have a different way of learning muscle memory. And I wanted to share that with you today. So called inversion therapy, here's a diagram I prepared earlier. This oxygenates the haemoglobin in the blood cells, a little bit like a, a snow globe that when you turn upside down, all the snow falls down and becomes actually larger. The flakes become larger as they fall down. What inversion practice does is, as I said, oxygenates the cells. As you can see here, there's only a maximum number of oxygen cells that a, that a cell can accommodate before it needs to expand in size to absorb more of these black dots here representing the oxygenation of these uh, haemoglobin cells. What's the advantage of that? Well, as they get bigger, the electrical charge turns to positive because it loses an electron and they attract each other a little bit better. What that means is the electrical charge going especially across the synapses in the neurobiology gives you a burst of alpha waves which improves concentration and long-term learning. So what about the technique? It's a very simple three-step process and we recommend two or three reps per day maximum, 10 seconds each, we consider this a slow burn methodology, a, a marathon rather than a sprint. And th the three steps, I'll demonstrate them now. Firstly, pre-stance position. Secondly, the inverse practice stance position. Third step, start cueing. So it's important to keep the cue horizontal and the grip hand should be finishing in the chest. That's the most important part of the delivery, delivering to the chest. But as you can see, imagine the snow dome inverted. The inversion practice methodology applied to snooker, again, oxygenates the haemoglobin, gives you the burst of alpha waves to concentrate on what you're doing and absorb the muscle memory longer term into your neurology and your physiology. So after our trip in Australia where we were introduced to inversion practice, we immediately emailed our VIP clients and said, look, we've got this new methodology. Would you like to give it a try? Would you like to beta test it before we release it to the market? Of course, they said, yes, what do we need to do? They tested this and got some remarkable results. So I want to show you some images of that now. The most amazing thing for me with inversion practice is how much it's allowed me to focus on my cue action without having to worry about things like stance. It's been incredible. Hello there, Nick. Uh, thank you for your inversion practice that you taught me. Uh, brilliant exercise and it really helps me um, keep my balance. It also actually helped me get a hole in one in golf because when you're playing golf it's it's a lot more easy to to keep your balance and keep your feet stable using this technique. So thank you for you for yet another brilliant tip. You're the man. So that was the technique. How do we integrate this into our practice and into our games? Well, what I'd like to do is for you to test it and see how the results are, how they filter through into your game. And if you submit with hashtag inversion practice, 
the best image and the best example, the best form that I see will receive a free place in our masterclass, one week masterclass seminar on inversion practice. Now, there are only 14 places available. That's in late October, but seven places are already pre-sold, but there will be one free place available for the best form demonstrated with hashtag inversion practice. So let us have those submissions, give it a try, let your friends know, and I hope to see you in late October.